Hi there, Johnny Daniel, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you tonight? It's Wednesday at 7 and we're live, ready to go. I don't know about you, but things are finally starting to lighten up. Graduation is done. I know, right? <laughs> but graduation is done. Um, college has been accepted. Scholarships are back. Um, so things are mellowing out a tiny bit. The gym is opening back up. So I don't have to try to run in 105 degrees anymore because I don't like getting up early to run. And things are slowly coming back to normal, whatever that might be, right? Okay, so how are you? Check in with me, please. Say where you're from, say hello, wave. Cheers, whatever you want to do. Um, so tonight I'm actually giving away six, six cards. Um, we're going to be doing the eraser card and then five of the in color cards. So six total. So if you comment, that's one entry. If you create with me and post, your picture of your card before midnight, that's two entries per picture. So if you do a couple of those, right, you don't have to do it while we're live, but you do need to do it. Um, the comment has to be time stamped for today, Wednesday. Okay. So you need to do it by 1159 Pacific time. Um, so let's see what else. Um, you have until next Wednesday to claim your cards, so I need to double check that post from last week now that I think about it, but I didn't, I don't think I saw any comments, so make sure you comment, let me know. This week, because of all the different colors, first one to comment, um, I will also be asking for which color is your favorite color as well for the in, new in colors, okay? Um, the invitation for the open time, the open studio time, will be going out tomorrow. I didn't want to confuse you because I was closed Monday for birthday and all that kind of stuff. So 10.30 to 12.30, 5.30 to 7.30 to limit how many people I have coming in. I just ask that you RSVP or reply to the email so I can confirm you because I'm limiting it to two people right now. So that way we can keep our space <laughs> per se. So, um, online class stamp of the week for June 15th to the 20th, next Monday through Saturday. Um, it will be with the Tasteful Touches um, stamp set or bundle. Okay, so just FYI on, on that. Rubber Rummage, we're getting closer. We're not there yet, but we're getting really, really close. Um, so, I will probably be announcing that soon of when we're going to reschedule that. Um, let's see. The June card class is canceled. It just was too soon. So um, we will more than likely be doing July. July's class is going to be the 7th, 9th, and 11th. So right after July 4th. Okay. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? I know there was something else. Oh, details on bingo. That'll all be done virtually on the 27th of June at 10 a.m. Facebook. Um, if you've ordered 50 or more from the BOGO sale, you're already in and you qualify. If you didn't do that and still want to play, it's 25 bucks um, for the buy-in. Um, and I'm also going to have some other... Um, options for you like if you want to purchase extra games and that kind of stuff so you have a better chance of winning so there's that all right so for tonight the sample suggested starter kit um now you guys got to realize there is a bonus right now of any bundle okay so the largest bundle as far as money goes, is $60.25, that's a bonus, on top of your 125 you get. That's called Blossoms and Bloom Bundle on page 174. However, here's what we have. 
okay? So for instance, if you were making the cards tonight and you ordered a sample kit, this is what it might look like, okay? So, of course I stacked it from the bottom up, which I shouldn't have done. So hold on a second. All right, so we've got for the bonus would be the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set and the coordinating dies, okay? And then, and then, <laughs> um, we have, where did it go? Now that I messed up the stack, right? We have the in color variety pack of cardstock. So that's what that looks like, okay? And this is all for the $99 sign up, no, um, no shipping, just tax, so 108. So you would get the bonus bundle, and then you would get the in color cardstock. I'm trying to not mess this up. Um, the in color enamel dots to, to um, coordinate with the paper. And I said you're probably gonna want two. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. Stacks and stacks. It's a good problem. Thick cardstock, the Whisper White cardstock. This is for your bases, for your cards. Uh, I'm trying to go in order here, guys. Paper trimmer. Uh, stamp and seal. Now, forgive me. Mine's still the old snail because I haven't got my new one in yet, okay? So hopefully next week it'll be different. Let's hope, let's hope. All right, and then the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, because you gotta have something pretty, right? A pack of envelopes, yeah? All right, and let's see here. Stamp and scrub so you can clean everything, as well as the stamp and mist, which is reconfigured in a different bottle. So I'm waiting on that too. <laughs> and then of course the refill for what will be the stamp and seal. Okay. Uh, let's see, did I miss anything? No, I didn't. So um let's see. So kind of a good deal. Um, let's see, the only negative is you have to put in your order, own order. 300 a quarter is the only requirement and the rest of it is up to you. So let me know if you're interested, no negative impact on your credit. If you drop, the only thing is you drop and are not active anymore. So for tonight, we're gonna be doing the Create With Me project. And for that, you need a card base. You need an outer mat and an inner mat. And I even had an inner, inner mat, but you don't have to get that complicated. You need a pencil and you need some ink. That's it, okay? So feel free to get as fancy as you want, but that's what you absolutely need. And then for tonight, we're gonna be completing the one that's missing out of the set for the, what color is it guys? Can you comment and tell me what color is missing? Ooh, anybody know? Jode had it earlier when I asked. So those are the cards and we'll explain how everything happens and the why. Okay, so let me put you down and we'll get to going. Okay, let's see here. Adjust, adjust, a little bit. Okay, let me see what I've got. All right, give me just a half a second to catch up. Like I said before, you need a pencil with an eraser on it, and then a card base, a couple of mats. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. I need to get all this down. 
All right, almost there. Sorry guys, almost there, almost there. Bumblebee is missing, you're right. Hey Deb, how are you? Let's see who else is on. Sherilyn, hey, how are you? Yes, Bumblebee. Hi Lise, hi Cheryl. All right, I have nine more comments, but for some reason I can't see them until it finishes, so if I missed you, I will not miss you later, I promise. Sorry. Um, I'm doing the best I can. All right, so follow me on the blog, stampingwithjohnny.com. YouTube, Stamping with Johnny. Do you see the pattern? I hope so. So, um, the thing with the YouTube is I... Um, upload all my Facebook lives to that. So if you don't want to have to scroll through my feed or hit the video, <laughs> but anyways, um, you can go straight on to YouTube and hit subscribe. And every time I post something new on there, which is usually Wednesday night late after the live or Thursday morning, and you will get it emailed to you or text notification, depending on your settings and everything will be fine. In theory. Okay. So, if you want to order, the host code right now is G-N-X-W-A-Y-S-Y. And I'll put that back up later. But, let's get to creating, shall we? That's what we're here for, right? So, um, before I begin, I want to show you something. <laughs> For me, it's interesting to me, but each color to me kind of says a story, I guess you would say. So like each color for me when I'm doing the embossing folders speaks to me. So like this magenta madness to me was very elegant and very proper, shall we say. The um, bumblebee that reminded me of the desert. So the, which one? Hammered metal 3D, okay? So I've got that. And then this misty moonlight reminded me of like a distressed denim. So that one, tasteful textile, okay? And then the cinnamon cider, also known as fireball in my house, um, this one just spoke old world, right? So I don't know if you can see that texture. I really hope so. But that's what it said to me. And then the very last one, the Just Jade, this one, the Ornate Floral. Okay, so each one of these has its own color cut out as well as either a gold foil or a brass foil depending on how it looked to me. So for instance, the brass I thought looked better on the cinnamon cider, but the gold better on the Just Jade. So it's just kind of whatever, right? Because <laughs> it's what you make of it. But I just felt like each color almost had its own personality for lack of better terms. So that was why the difference embossing folders, okay? So, um, with that being said, now we can go to the um, pencil creation, okay? So you're going to want to get your card base and your mats out if you're following me. And I'm resituating, so give me just a half a sec. All right, because I'm used to the whole table <laughs> instead of a little space. So it, it kind of, yeah. All right, so... For this one, I have a thick whisper white card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Okay, you will fold it with the valley side out. We're gonna hide those mountains. Okay, I also have a piece of basic black cardstock cut at five and a quarter by four. That's five and a quarter by four. And then I have a piece of Rococo Rose cut at five by three and three quarters, or a quarter inch down, if that helps you. 
And then the last one, piece of Whisper White, and I'm trying to remember, honestly, because I don't normally do this one. Four and a half by three and a quarter. And the reason why is because it's a half inch down to bring a little more accent to it. So that was why I couldn't remember that one. Okay, so I've already started this one. Here's how I did this though, okay? I punched out a daisy <laughs> because I didn't want to measure. So if you want to measure, you can just go an inch and a half or whatever it is from the edges or you can find the center and go two inches out. It's really up to you on how you do it. Honestly, I like the size of the large daisy, so I put it down and I put a pencil mark and a pencil mark and a pencil mark and a pencil mark. That's all I did. <laughs> so if that works for you, that's my eyeball. That's how I measured. <laughs> Fun stuff, right? So for this technique, you need a pencil with an eraser. If it's not flat, shave it off so it becomes flat because the more like this the more weird and not so much is going to touch your paper and so you need it to be as flat as you can okay the hard erasers that don't work anymore actually work the best for this because the ink doesn't really soak in so it um stays on the surface and actually goes into the paper so so here's what we do <laughs> you're gonna laugh all right, so ready? I'm gonna put this in the middle so you can see. Tap, 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 tap. Stamp, tap, tap, tap. Stamp, tap, stamp. Literally. So are you guys designing with me? Is anybody designing with me? I hope so. But literally just... <laughs> And I'm just creating a design. I don't know what it's going to be yet. But, oops, that one didn't go. So let's do that one again. Okay. The fun of creating, right? So, yeah, just literally stamping the pencil eraser and going. Kind of weird, right? If you need straight lines, you're more than welcome to put pencil marks to me. As long as it's kind of eyeballed, I'm not really worried. Okay? So literally just <laughs> pencil eraser stuff. Pretty simple, right? Sometimes you just got to grab what you have and keep going, huh? <laughs> so, all right. So you can keep going with that, but... And then if you wanted to clean the eraser off, you just kind of twist until <laughs> there's not ink left, right? So I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to grab my snail. Where did it go? Because <laughs> I had it on the other way. All right. And no, I'm not trying to get rid of it. I just want it to stick. Hopefully the new stuff sticks a little better. Hi, Shirley. How are you, hun? You guys share this. I have um, six cards to give away. If we only have five people, that's kind of a problem. So please host a watch party or share it or something. So, and tell people to comment. All right. And then you can continue with that pattern if you want, or it's really... Gee, up to you, right? Okay. Because you didn't hear me saying that, right? <laughs> so I'm probably going to put a saying down here. Where did my stamp set go? And I'm just going to have it fit in there. And I think I'm going to do black so that way it stands out. Because I don't have my punches close and all that kind of stuff. So... Let's see. Should we do a thanks? Anybody? 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 I'm thinking thanks or congrats. One of the two. Anybody have an opinion? All right. Thanks it is off of the mini mates. 
So we're going to grab here and I'm just going to stamp this down here at the bottom. Hopefully I didn't. I thought I bounced it, but I didn't. I did okay. Yay. So that is my, oh, that wasn't good. Um, fumbled the ink pad. Um, so that is my pencil eraser design. Okay. I don't know if you like it, but it's just something different to do. Okay. So we're going to close that up, get that all stacked to the side. And we're going to bring the next project. Okay. Next, next, next. Okay. So for this one, It didn't look like the same color at first. All right, so for this one, I have a thick whisper white. Hey, Jode, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you, hun. So for this one, I have a thick whisper white um, cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11 and then scored at the five and a half mark. We are going to fold that valley out and all right, so let's see here. I'm gonna put the ribbon on first. I know, you're going, what? <laughs> I'm just teasing. So the ribbon goes on after the sunflower. I want to make sure that everything fits, so I'm going from the top down. So I've got, with this, let's see, I should tell you, huh? I've got a piece of bumblebee that's cut. Thanks, Cheryl. Appreciate it. I like the sunflower too. So I've got a piece of bumblebee cut and then embossed with the hammered. Um, I always say let's get hammered and that's not the right term. Hammered metal 3D embossing folder. <laughs> get hammered fireball. Yeah. Okay. We're done now. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Alrighty, so I've got two of the sunflowers cut out. One is out of the gold foil and one is out of the bumblebee. So we're going to put those like that. So first I got to get... So with this, there's holes on the outer ring of the sunflower. So you want the glue dots to go on the inner part of the ring so you don't have stickies sticking out. So you want to go just on that inner side. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do card class in July. Maybe we'll do red, white, and blue ones with fireworks or something. So we will see. All right. And okay. So we've got that now. I am not lining this up because for one, it's virtually impossible. For two, I don't want it to line up. I want it to just lay over, okay? So that's how that's gonna look. And then I'm going to put, you guessed it, more glue dots down. And we're gonna glue this baby down and get it done. Okay. Now I missed just on one. I saw, no, I didn't. Huh, okay. I guess it's the shiny from the gold I saw. So we're gonna just stick this down. Okay, so yay, sunflowers, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna grab a dimensional regular size and I'm gonna grab here and peel this guy. If you have trouble peeling it, Stick your thumbnail in the middle and it'll pop right up. Um, one note, if I was doing this again, I would probably run this through an embossing folder, like the subtles or something, so it's not quite as plain and quite as brilliant, okay? There's a lot of texture on this card, so that really pops. So I don't know if I would do it that way again. I might just um, add a touch of texture to that, okay? So now I'm going to work on this. Now, okay, glue dots are usually, and I say this loosely, 
because I have had one where I think they did it on a Friday afternoon and it was not evenly spaced, but usually they're evenly spaced. So usually you can put your ribbon down across instead of going each individual. And then when you pull it off, you've got all of them already done. So you just have to center them. Now this is the bumblebee woven trim. Okay. We got a match. That's the whole point, right? Hey Jude, how are you? Good to see you, hun. So we're doing sunflowers and we are, we already completed the pencil eraser card. I'll show you at the end. Ouch. If my fingers don't get stuck. So I'm just winding this ribbon around. And that is what we have so far. Now, if you don't want to buy the mini dimensionals for this little punch, which is done by the way with the classic label punch, you can cut these in half, but sometimes they twist and do things. So if you do little stuff a lot, I'd recommend buying the minis. But if you want to get by without them, you can do that. Okay? So I'm going to put two on here real quick. And peel these. Oh, that one's not going. So I'm grabbing my thumbnail. My goodness, that one. Okay, there we go. I'm like, holy cow, that needs to go. All right, so I've got my two there. And I'm going to try to center it best as I can. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab my bumblebee because we're doing all yellow, right? Okay. Oh, don't stick there. Yeah. Okay, stick there. No, it moved. Good. <laughs> That's what the spatula on the Take Your Pick tool is for, <laughs> if you were wondering. So that is what I have. You want to go a tiny bit slower with the snail, I'm not sure what the new stamp and seal. And I'm even going to go across the ribbon. All right, now I already stamped the back, so I need to make sure that it's done correctly. But, and if you're wondering what it says, it says, Life is better with you. So this is a great happy mail card, okay? If you don't want to press on that sunflower like I was just doing, turn this over. And the warmth of your hand will get everything going. Okay? Alrighty. So that's what I have for you guys. Good thing I did the other four, right? So that way you didn't have to sit and watch me do all five of them. <laughs> so we've got... Let me move stuff out of the way so you can see. And throw stuff away so I don't have extras on the table here. So I've got my honeybee, I've got my misty moonlight, my magenta madness, my cinnamon cider, or also known as fireball, and my just jade. And then to top it all off, there's my pencil one. So please comment. If you created with me, please post your photo in the comments. You can do that. Hey, Joe, thank you. You can do that by hitting the little camera icon when you hit comment, and you should be good. And I think that's all. Let me put this back up so you have the host code. And what else? Am I missing anything? Gosh, I hope not. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Follow me, stampingwithjohnny.com. Have a great evening and a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye.